hey guys welcome back to another video in last week's video we said goodbye to family in taipei then hopped on the high speed rail to taichung which is the city where sam was born the plan was to stay one night before our sun moon lake vacation we rode the mrt down to who knows where but we arrived at <laughs> zong he hotel and we're just checking in dropping off our stuff and along the way some guy saw that we were completely lost and started speaking to me in Mandarin and I was like go talk to them and he's so nice he's trying to help us find where we're going so people in Taiwan are just high quality the best the friendliest people I feel like Canadians get like a oh they're always so friendly and so nice but like uh, I don't know I don't think we have anything on Taiwanese people you are authorized with your key Congratulations! <laughs> yes, I always wanted my own key. <laughs> this is bed one, bed two, desk one, TV one, one cabinet with a safe fridge. Oh, 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 so much water. There's like eight bottles of water here. You know how many bottles of water I stole from the other hotel? <laughs> Our like suitcases half full of water. We got at least like six bottles in there. And on top of the ones that were Sam's carrying in her bag. <laughs> the second hotel, the breakfast is even more insane. The options are way more vast. There's like more Asian style. So right here we have congee, seafood, and some sort of bun. Steamed bun, we have fried rice, some sort of deep fried onion rings sweet potato balls, eggplant, pork cutlet, some tofu dish, bamboo, we got vegetables, egg, french toast, fried rice, oh there's like, that's a full on buffet here, it's good. <laughs> About an hour bus ride east, we've arrived at this place called Sun Moon Lake, and it's a pretty big lake. We, uh, it's not the weather's not great, but we're looking for our hotel. So how are you feeling? Tired. I took a nap on the bus. Yeah, last night we had some laundry issues. Our hotel had free laundry and uh, it was a whole ordeal. They had three pairs of washers and dryers. The washers did its job. The dryers didn't really dry our clothes. So we we're up to like midnight trying to get that sorted out. As a result, I'm a little tired. Thank you for doing the laundry. Our hotel was on the opposite side of the lake. So we hopped on a ferry to get there. Sam's aunt waited an hour in line for this and other things, but thank you. One stop the ferry guide said we had to make before going to our hotel was this tea egg shop where one grandma has been making tea eggs for many many years. Tea egg. These are as common as America is as McDonald's. So these are on every street corner and you can just buy tea eggs and just eat them. It's exactly as it sounds. It's just eggs steeped in tea. It's good flavor. So we just got this as a light snack. <laughs> we always have to eat the bottom first because the yolk sits at the bottom. You save the white for last, the flavorful white.
Welcome to our third hotel and we are at Sun Moon Lake on the, I don't know, like north side, the other side of the lake where you normally go. And we just checked into our hotel room. Come on in. This building is all made out of wood. And, and smells it smells so, so good. good. It smells like a, a fresh, Sauna. freshly cut forest, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom. Is yeah, bathroom, everything, standard bidet and uh, heat sink, lots of mirror and a bathtub. Well, yeah. When we when they gave us the key, they had a little like uh, poster card and they gave us a little presentation on it. It was yeah. so cute. And what was it like? You gotta run the bathtub before you run the shower or something? Uh, yeah, just run the tub to get the hot water going. Why not run it from? Anyways, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, come on in. This isn't even the best part, even though it already looks real good. All right, over here we got two queenish beds, and then the view. <laughs> the view is so good. Yeah, the weather kind of cleared up and you see people out there like kayaking, doing boat rentals, but we have a waterside view. And the hotel's right on the water. You can actually pay 20 bucks to go fishing off your balcony. Free jellies! Dude, I don't know, Western hotels need to take a page out of the, out of everyone else's book because like, this whole thing of like, cookies and snacks and candies, a fully stocked fridge with drinks and everything's like free. And this is like way cheaper than any North American ones. This is highway robbery, bro. Anyways, jelly. We finished lounging around the hotel and dropped everything off. Now we've worked up an appetite and we're heading into town, checking it all out and finding some good food, hopefully. Purple, purple rice. Some it's purple rice. Oh, this it's like is purple chicken. rice. This is a three layer. Red bean. Red, red bean, green bean. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I'll share with you. Yeah. Good. Tastes like candy. It's literally my favorite. Is this beef noodle soup? I always want soup, especially on weather like today, rainy and cool. Yeah. Not too cold, but rainy. So we're gonna go and try as many beef noodle soups place as we can. <laughs> <laughs> Do a comparison. The first one we had was already pretty good, so... Yeah. Yeah. We have the little stand to collect the chapstick wrap, so it won't flow okay. everywhere to pollute the environment. Make a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, like. It looks like. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm. Better than the first place? Yeah. Yep. yep. We don't know what's good. My mom said the first place was not good, but she said this place is good. <laughs> to us, everything tastes good. This guy's face looks like a poo. Yeah. This is a special tea that my parents said um, is pretty popular. Is this chicken drumstick that they deboned and they stuff it with sticky rice and they put some hot sauce on it too. So it looks like this. Mm. I just found the chicken part, but the chicken's flavor is really good. You've never had this before? I never had this before. Yeah. Mm. The sticky rice is so good, and the chicken is so crispy. <clears throat> it's very unique. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a red tea ice cream. This place is famous of its uh, red tea. It tastes like bubble tea. Ooh, yeah, it tastes the it tea. It tastes like yeah. bubble tea. So this is a kind of like a, a hamburger type of thing with wild boar filling and cucumbers. It's kind of like a dumpling wrapper. Yeah, it's crispy. Dumpling filling. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. The second thing we bought at that food stand is this vegetable bun. So similarly, the wrapper is fried and then it has cabbage and mushroom filling. 
intermission, Riley had to help me get to the filling. But there's noodles in here as well. Oh my gosh. I still didn't get any filling. <laughs> <laughs> Every bite I take, the filling just keeps dropping to the bottom. <laughs> the cabbage is very flavorful because the mushrooms add a lot of flavor. And the noodles in here are really tasty too. It's like a giant wonton mm. or... Um, like a giant egg roll. <laughs> I, yeah, giant egg roll. <laughs> this is the braised pork on rice. It comes yep. with a little bit of a uh, an egg as well and a pickled radish. Good. Yep. The color looks good. Yep. It's on the most sweet side. Sweet side? Yeah. But uh, yeah, sweet and salty is uh, braised pork. Yeah. 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 11 mm, out of 10? No, I would say 7 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. Not the place one. Oh. Alice can make better. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They make, make it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here. It's definitely more sweet. Mm. More sweet than I'm used to. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's typically this sweet, yeah. but still good. Yeah. Good value, right? Mm. Three dollars, four. Uh, two, two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. Mm. Two bucks. Mm. Two of these will fill you up. So four dollars. So the other thing we got was a um, just mushrooms with pork ball. I don't even know how they make this, but it's just a giant meatball in mm -hmm. soup, mm -hmm. and it looks insanely hot. It's good. It's very yeah, tender. Homemade. Homemade. No. These ages is homemade. Mm -hmm. It has more of a texture of a um, fish ball. Mm -hmm. It's kind of some kind of squash leaves. Squash leaves. Mm -hmm. right. You're right. You're right. This is called bo gua. Hmm. This is good. After all that amazing food, we spent the rest of the evening walking along the pier and exploring our hotel which had a lot of surprising and random amenities. There was a pool, sauna, arcade, gym, and even axe throwing. Yo, gentle, gentle. Okay, let's stop before we embarrass ourselves further. Hope you enjoyed watching our first day at Sun Moon Lake. Join us next week as we explore the rest of the lake on bikes and also try fishing off our balcony. Until next time, peace. <laughs>